Ladies and gentlemen, the thing that we have been wanting for this last month is here, right? Neon Genesis Evangelion is going to be collabing with Goddess of Victory Nikkei, and I'm very excited for this because I've been on a big Nikkei kick. Uh, not, not just because, you know, like, I kind of work with them a little bit, but more so that I love the game and I love what the company does. Because, like, it seems like they actually communicate and understand their fan base. And that's what I really, really love about them, unlike some other games. But I'm very excited for this. I've heard some people not be excited for this collab, but I'm very excited. So before we get into that, because we're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff, including what I think is going to be, like, the character, like, splits, I guess, in the sense. Uh, and then a possible release date. And some of my hopes and dreams that are probably going to be crushed. But... Before we get into that, make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next Goddess of Victory Nikkei video comes out. And of course, leave a comment about what you think about this collab. Guys, I am sponsored by Gamer Subs. This is a no-brainer. I talk about it in every single video, but God, they're so good. If you are going through, like, keto, if you're trying to go through ketosis and all that stuff, this is so good. Comparatively to energy drinks, to sodas... I would much rather drink a bunch of this over a soda any day. And with the new flavor Goof Juice with Moist Critical, you get that strawberry kiwi that just tastes so good. Oh, so delicious. Make sure you use Tyson for 10% off. Let's go ahead and dive in to Goddess of Victory Nikkei X Evangelion. Now, from what I can tell you, They've been building up teasers, and it's going to revolve around the school with probably Ray, Zue, and Ayn, um, which is cool. I ain't got no problem with it, but we're going to be getting three characters at the very least. Now, the characters that we see on this screen, right, is Asuka, who is one of the main characters of the show, uh, Ray, who is, I believe, another main character of the show, Mari, who is a side character of the show, and Isato, who is another main character. So we have three mains, one side, right? So, I've never watched the show. I don't know anything really about these characters. Not really. I know that this anime came out in 1995, which is huge because that was when I was like five freaking years old, right? So, to me, I think that this is honestly like a really, really cool collab because it's an old school anime coming in and blossoming into the future, right? So, I like that. So, we got Asuka, Rei... Mari and Misato. I think that Misato is not going to be a summonable unit, which sucks because she is, she's fine as hell. I'll tell you that right now. Mm. But the bodysuit girls are probably going to be who we get, right? So we got Asuka is probably going to be phase one with Rey being phase two. And Mari, who I, I, from my research, is a side character for the most part. Mari is going to be the free to play unit, most likely. But I think what's really cool is that it's going to show off the weaponry of Evangelion when they come into Goddess of Victory Nikkei. And I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of interested on in how they're going to like kind of con or compare and contrast the worlds of both of them. Because yeah, both worlds of Evangelion and Nikkei are very bleak, dismal futures, right? So let's talk about some hopes and dreams of mine. I really only got one hope, right? So for those who don't know, Evangelion has collabed with many games in the past, like Honkai Impact 3rd, uh, Tower of Fantasy, and Summoner's War as of recently. They've also collabed with other franchises. Namely, Godzilla. Now, I don't know if you can tell, right? I don't know if you can tell, I'm a huge Shin Godzilla fan. I also got Godzilla minus one on the side. But I've been a fan of Godzilla all my life, right? It would be so cool if the creator of both Evangelion and Shin Godzilla, they're, they're the same creator, if Shin Godzilla was somehow mentioned. Now, I don't think that's going to happen because it's not canon that Evangelion and Godzilla have, you know, you know, done that. But wouldn't it be so funny if that if they actually mentioned Shin Godzilla in some way, shape, or form? That would make me hold out hope that Shinny would actually be like a uh, uh, rapture of some sort. It'd be so cool. 
It'd be so cool, but I know it's not gonna happen because, you know, that's asking for too much. Now, either way, I think that this collab is gonna be really, really fun. I, I know that some people are very uh, sad because they wanted it to be High School DxD or they wanted it to be, uh, what was the other one? There was another one that people were super, super excited for. Um, I think it was LaCroix Recoil or something like that. Um, but I think that ne Neon Genesis Evangelion is the best bet. I think they're geared, like the creator is gearing up for something with Evangelion. Um, now, I know that we're heading into 30 years of Evang Evangelion. So that's probably what's going on is that there's probably going to be a big celebration for it of some sort. And that's why they're collabing so much with other games, right? But who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'm just speculating here. Now, as it stands, let's talk about a, po a possible release date. So the current banners as of this recording or the current banner is Zway. Now Zway ends in nine days. That's the event. The event ends in nine days or about like nine days and 22 hours or something like that. Um, I think obviously with that, the new collab is going to release on August 20th or the 21st. Now, here's why I say that as well. For those who don't know, Nikkei is going to be an anime NYC, right? So to me, with anime NYC being August 23rd, it would build up the most hype to have the collab happen just before that so that they go into anime NYC and get some like really, really like fantastic, you know, things happening. Like there's going to be so much stuff happening at anime NYC. So to me, I'm excited for the fact that it's going to be releasing so soon. I've been wanting to know what the collab is. I've hated the fact that they didn't give us the collab info like right from the get go, but it made the surprise even better. So to me, I'm very excited. I hope that you are as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for Neon Genesis Evangelion. So just to kind of recap, Asuka and Rei are going to be the summonable units. Probably Asuka first, Rei second. Mari's going to be the free to play unit. Masato, sadly, as sexy as she is, will not be there. Um, well, we'll be there in the story, but not actually be there, uh, probably as a summonable unit. I hope I'm wrong. Now, release day, probably August 20th or August 21st to coincide with Anime NYC. Hoping for Shin Godzilla. <laughs> it's not going to happen though. It's not going to happen. But, uh, if anybody else is a Shin Godzilla fan out there, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for me today. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.